Today, let's talk about a time where it seems that Jesus deliberately embarrassed someone. I'm going to talk to you from Mark chapter 5, verse 33, where we read this. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. This woman was humiliated by her affliction, so she didn't dare ask Jesus for healing. She knew that he was the Messiah and had power over every disease, so she reached out her hand for a secret touch, trusting that Jesus would heal her secret ailment. And at the point of contact, she knew that she was healed, and Jesus knew that someone had touched him with genuine faith. With her healing in hand, she hoped to sneak away through the crowd, but Jesus stopped the crowd with a strange question. Jesus said, who touched me? As the disciples questioned Jesus' sanity for asking such a question while that crowd was pressing in against him, Jesus looked right at this woman. She knew that she was caught, and she meekly submitted to Jesus' request to come forward, falling down at his feet. Now, why did Jesus make her go through this? Jesus knew who the woman was, so it might seem that his only purpose in doing this was to embarrass this woman. But that wasn't his purpose at all. Jesus called her out, so to speak, so that she would absolutely know that she was healed. She felt in her body that she was healed, but she might begin to doubt that it was for real. But Jesus told her, go in peace and be healed of your affliction. We can also say that Jesus did it so that others would know that she was healed. This woman had a hidden ailment that made, for a, made her be a public outcast. It would sound suspicious to a lot of people if she just announced one day that she was healed. <laughs> they would think that she made it all up. Jesus called her out, so to speak, so that other people would absolutely know that the woman was healed. And we can say also that Jesus did it so that she would know why she was healed. When Jesus told her, daughter, your faith has made you well, it showed the woman that it wasn't touching the clothing of Jesus that healed her. Instead, it was her faith in Jesus and in what he could do for her. Furthermore, we can say that Jesus did it because he didn't want her to think that she stole a blessing from Jesus, that she could never really look Jesus in the eye again. She didn't steal anything. She received her healing by faith, and it was confirmed by Jesus. And finally, I would say that Jesus did it because he wanted to bless this woman in a special way. Jesus called this woman daughter. Jesus never called any other person by this name that we read about in the Gospels. Jesus wanted her to come forth and hear this special name of tenderness. Friends, when Jesus calls us forward, it's because he has something special to give to us. Now, Jesus may ask us to do things that seem embarrassing. But always remember, he doesn't ask us to do these things because they embarrass us. There is a higher purpose, even if we can't see it at the moment. But if avoiding embarrassment is the most important thing in our life, then pride is our God. Today, choose to love Jesus more than yourself or even more than your self-image.